I'm Johnny, you're watching A View to a Grill, and today it's the all new Weber Connect Smart Grilling Hub. And if you want to see other great videos on the barbecue topic, all you have to do is subscribe. Now Weber is billing this as a smart grilling assistant. You're supposed to be able to follow some simple grilling instructions and produce some really good tasting recipes. Let's get started with the unboxing, then we're going to set it up, then I'm going to give you my first thoughts. We'll go ahead and get this out of the box. Now when we go through this, we're going to go exactly in order of the directions. In the box, you're going to find one smart grilling hub. You're going to find one meat probe and one ambient probe. You're also going to find the charging cable, an ambient grate clip, and the Weber Connect quick start guide. On the smart grilling hub you're going to notice a probe selection indicator and a battery status indicator. Just look down below it and you'll see what each color represents. On the right side you're going to see the Wi-Fi Bluetooth status indicator and a connection indicator telling you whether or not um, the hub is connected or if it might need setup or possibly it's an error. Now it's time to download the Weber Connect app. We'll just head over to the App Store, search for Weber Connect. Once we find that, we're going to click the download and download the app. Once it's complete, we'll open it and then immediately pair the device. So now back to the Weber Connect documentation. Step two says to plug in the plugs so that we can turn the Weber Connect on. Step three, the plugs are disconnected. We'll go ahead and check the battery status by pressing down on the device when there are no probes connected. If your battery needs to be recharged then you're going to go ahead and plug in the recharger cable and charge it up. Otherwise you should be ready to go. Plug in one of the probes so that we can turn the Weber Connect on. We'll just make sure that the Weber Connect app is open. When all four lights light up, we want to press down on the Smart Grilling Hub just to finalize the pairing. So immediately we have a firmware update. Now it says it's going to take about 25 minutes. So we'll just follow the instructions on the screen and do what it says. Okay, now that the firmware is updated, now all we have to do is repair the device. Now that we're all paired up, it's time to find a recipe and cook. Now when using the Smart Grilling Hub, Weber recommends that we follow all the recipes step by step. So that's what we're going to do. In uh, my next four videos, I hope to have cooked a steak, maybe a pork chop, some chicken, and hopefully a fish all using the Weber Connect. And we're going to do exactly what the instructions say to do because I want to know if this app really does know how to cook. It says it's smart, so we're going to find out. Step nine. So this is pretty important. Step number nine. When you want to turn the grilling hub off, you have to take out all the probes. Otherwise, the power is going to stay on. Now this hot surface warning. I am guilty of the hot surface thing. My iGrill 2, I broke that by sticking it to the lid of my Weber kettle. Hey, I'm not perfect. <laughs> it, it actually happened. You want to make sure you store the grilling hub in a nice dry place. If you ever need to give this a hard reset, let's say it's not connecting to your phone like you think it should, you can always do a hard reset and start the whole pairing process over and then you can read the important information for yourself. So, my first impressions of the Weber Connect. It's a pretty nice device. It's sleek, it's well built. So this is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. But I like the design, it's sturdy. The display looks great. Now I don't know yet if it's going to work with my iGrill probes. I'll, put, I'll let you know in a future video if it does or not. Go ahead, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, come back, because I'm really excited about this product and I really want it to work. But we'll see. Everyone take care. I'll see you next time.